Good evening. A man the Huntington County Sheriff's Department remembers well has found his way into an Alabama County jail for a similar reason. Twelve years ago, Edward Bodkin admitted to performing castrations in his former home in Huntington. He was sentenced to four years and served his time, but now has been arrested for possession of child pornography in Elmore County. News Channel 15's Elizabeth Fields has been in contact with Alabama deputies, and they say they think he may have been performing or at least planning to perform castrations there, too. Well, Mark and Heather, police tell me that they found hundreds of videos of castrations. They found instruction pamphlets, and they even found all of the tools you would need to perform one. Take a look. This is video from 1999 when Bodkin was charged with practicing medicine without a license here. It was a similar story. Police were tipped off, searched his home, and found the same things. Videos of castrations and tools to perform them. In Alabama, prison officials from Massachusetts actually called the police there. An inmate was getting sexually explicit letters from Bodkin. Investigators say they could have never prepared for everything they found in his home when serving the search warrant. The former Huntington sheriff tells me that he can relate. He says that he's not surprised at all to hear the name Edward Bodkin again. If I remember right, Ed was really uh, pretty upfront with us, uh, readily pretty well admitted to what was going on. But, you know, it didn't surprise me. It's surprising it didn't happen before now. I'm sure he probably continually did this. and. Uh, just didn't get caught. He just got caught, you know. Police tell me that Bodkin will have his initial court appearance in the next couple of days, but because of the hundreds of videos that they have to go through as evidence, it could be a little while if they're going to be adding charges. So as of now, Bodkin is charged with four counts of possession of child pornography. He's, he is being held on $400,000 bond. Reporting live tonight from News Control, I'm Elizabeth Fields, News Channel 15.